Hey everybody, it's Josh here again, and today we're going to be doing some more viewer Q&A. So this question is really interesting. It's about pursuing more certs or going directly and getting the master's in cybersecurity from WGU. So today's question is from walking tour 360 and they said josh i have a question i already have a general it degree but no certificates for example no network plus or security plus i want to pursue a master's in cybersecurity at wgu should i go for my certifications first or go for my master's directly i've been out of the field for 10 years and this question was really interesting it made me it made me think quite a bit actually so this requires a little bit of explaining, but ultimately I think that you should get some certs first and then get a job and start working. And then while you're in that job, study for CISSP and then ultimately get your master's in cyber from WGU. It's not necessarily like the best way, it's just kind of my opinion on, on what I kind of thought of. And the reason for this is um, the master's degree is like really good and it, it's absolutely better than nothing and it will, it will help you. But I thought it might not be the most efficient path. The most efficient path is because masters, uh, especially in IT, they're like much better for polish. Like you already have established all this stuff and you just want to kind of polish it and put like a, a bow on top or something. Cause like a degree, Itself, like a bachelor's degree is like not even necessarily required like much less a master's degree master's degree it it just kind of serves as polish and especially the masters from wgu and cyber it's it's not really conducive to finding like entry-level jobs or kind of like breaking back into the field because there's a lot of like kind of high level like top-down concepts like high level security engineering like by high level i mean like really abstracted from like day-to-day -day operations so there's like a lot of high level security engineering in that degree and like risk assessments and compliance things and like creating policies and like none of that all that stuff is like really good to know about but it's it's not in my opinion it's not really that useful if you if you haven't worked in security yet usually you work in like it in some capacity uh, which you have I, I guess technically or security and then you kind of make your way into the that kind of high level or high level orchestration positions i just feel that the masters is it's good but it's not really that good for for breaking back into something and in your case i feel certs are really good because certs are in my opinion, again, they're like really excellent for, for breaking into things. So for example, if there's somebody who's brand new and they want to break into IT, like I recommend getting like a, an entry level cert like every single time. Or if they're already working in IT and they're trying to kind of jump into a new position, like maybe they're help desk and they want to be a network engineer, I would recommend, you know, getting CCNA or something to kind of break into that new position. Or in your case, if you've been gone for a while and you're you're trying to kind of get back in into it, I would recommend some certs to kind of help you break back into the field. And and again, I, I've said this in a couple other of my videos, I think certs are, they're really good for helping you get interviews. But once you're already in the interview, people generally like don't care about your certs or don't care about your degree or, or any of that. They're just, you know, all they care about is like what you say in front of them. So in my opinion, since you already have a bachelor's of IT, like I would totally skip like A plus and may, maybe even network plus, to be honest, it just depends. You're, you're going to have to gauge your own skill. But since you want to get into security, I would definitely recommend getting security plus and then depending on the field you want to go to in security like i would recommend like another supplemental cert to kind of boost your knowledge in that area so for example if you want to work in like a SOC or something i, I might recommend like comptia CISA, like that cysa i don't know how people like pronounce that cert but um, i might recommend that if you want to work in pen testing or just want to get like security like get your security knowledge and stuff better in general i, I might recommend e-learn securities ejpt it just kind of depends on on what you want to do so maybe just like think about it and then get security plus for sure because you know that's that's good right and then get one more supplemental cert depending on like the area you want to work and to be honest like you can apply for jobs like in tandem like in parallel while you're studying for your certs or you can get like security plus and then start applying for jobs i, I think you're fine to apply for jobs like immediately because you know you you already have like experience and you have like a degree and everything still and then expanding on a little bit how i said um after you get your job you should start studying for CISSP uh, there's like a couple reasons for this like first like CISSP is like kind of the main like really good cert that you know I would recommend people have if they're kind of serious about their career and security like if they want to be like really appealing to, to corporate entities and like Department of Defense and not doing your own thing like it makes you really attractive to HR so I would, I would recommend getting CISSP and then the second reason is because you were you were thinking about getting the uh, Masters of Science from 
in cybersecurity from WGU. That whole degree is like largely based on uh, based off of the CISSP curriculum. So once you like finish CISSP, you'll be like really well primed to like just hop into that degree and, and kind of have a, a nice flat learning curve. It, it won't be like super hard for you to do because you you have been already exposed to most of the curriculum. So I think that's I think that's kind of the best way to go about it. The most, in my opinion, right, the most efficient way because it kind of lowers your your opportunity cost to, to get into the field and start working because the the master's is like kind of expensive and will take a decent amount of time to do if you don't kind of already have like a lot of the knowledge already. So this way you can kind of, you know, get some a couple of like easy or entry level certs and like start working right, right away. So you don't have to worry about the opportunity cost anymore. And then while you're working, study for CSSP to kind of like make your master's degree kind of easier than afterwards after you get CISSP just like finish the master's degree and you'll have a nice like cherry on top and you'll be like pretty much set at that point so yeah that's that's pretty much all I had to say for this question um again I just want to like reiterate like that's totally just my opinion and I'd be totally interested in hearing other people's opinions if they want to add something to to what I'm saying or have like an opposing idea or something I'm totally down for that but yeah thank you so much for your question I appreciate it and thank you everybody for watching if you like this content or you think it might be interesting interesting or useful to someone else, feel free to like and subscribe and maybe share with them and we will catch you next time. See you later.